It's Global Star time. I don't know what a good intro is, but let's talk about Global Star. So I am here trying to get ready for this week on a Saturday morning, trying to see what is gonna happen here on the stock market. I've gotta be honest, I have been focusing a lot of my attention on crypto the past pretty much like three weeks because I have been making quite a bit of money on crypto, like I'm sure a lot of you have, just you know, buying, selling, trading, moving things around. Still, Dogecoin is down, but it, the up and down on it is just so ridiculous that you can still make money on it, pretty much with all cryptos at this point. They're still down, but the volume on them is insane. And by the way, for the people that always message me and go like, yeah, I know what a market cap is, buddy. I, I know, but you know, I think we've proved now that market caps really don't matter with a lot of things at this point. I'm trying to be nice here. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> but let's talk about Global Star and what we've seen here. So honestly, the only new news that has come out with Global Star, we haven't seen any new contracts being uh, signed. We've only seen revenues come out, which about a week ago I said, you know, be prepared, revenues are coming out. We might see a little burst in Global Star, which we really didn't see anything because the market just tanked again on top of the five tanks it's already had and crypto was just kind of running its course and that was right around the SNL big hype moment with Dogecoin and Elon. And I'm going to give you this short summary report on what the numbers were with Global Star quarterlies. But looking at a chart right here, you know, the fact that Global Star is still a dollar, I think that's amazing. We have seen so many penny stocks just be annihilated the past three months and they're not even close to a dollar anymore. So that is telling me a lot of people still believe in Global Star. A lot of people have a lot of calls on Global Star. A lot of people are betting on Global Star to do do well and a lot of people are just you know they're not leaving and if they leave they come back so I, I I'm really you know I'm really shocked that this thing is staying above a dollar I was thinking like this thing might sit around like 90 cents for a little bit until we can get you know just the general stock market and some good news to come around with Global Star but for me at least it's actually doing what I said it was gonna do I said about like you know like three four weeks ago like don't be surprised if Global Star sits around a dollar to a dollar twenty. That's going to be probably that range you're going to see. And I think it's still doing that. We're not really losing ground in that area. It's still hovering around that sector. But moving into the quarterlies, what Global Star came out with. If you watched my last video, thank you. And I told you, you know, don't expect these quarterlies to be like life changing. These are not going to be good quarterlies. I'm, I'm not expecting good quarterlies at least till the end of the year of this year or maybe even into the beginning of next year where we can see all of these contracts kind of just like hit at the same time. Now, I still don't expect Global Star to be like a debt free company at that point, but you know, if it would show even the slightest signs of going somewhere different and like new ground, you know, that would be huge for the company. So the company's total Q21 revenue declined 16% from the first quarter of 2020 to 26.9 million, mostly due to lower service revenues. Obviously we're still in the pandemic phase here, but this was also offset particularly by an increase in revenue generated from subscriber equipment sales, which increased from 3.2 million to 3.8 million during the quarter. That's actually really good right there. That's pretty big news. Despite the decline of Global Star's spot service revenue in Q1, quarter one, 21, gross activities were up 14% from the first quarter of 2020 and up 15% over the last year driven by the store reopening in mid 2020 and increased online product distribution. So honestly, this is some pretty good news. I mean, it's like great news. I mean, I, I wish it was a lot better, but it's not terrible news. So a lot of people ask me, what is the deal with Global Star? If you're new to Global Star, why would I invest in Global Star? You know, there are other companies that have the same flavor, taste, and smell of what Global Star does. Absolutely, I've talked about those companies on this channel. But how I personally look at Global Star as an investor myself in Global Star, I look at this as, you know, I'm here for the long haul. I'm literally riding this horse with Global Star. You know, I'm watching the company. I am literally investing in a company. I'm watching it. This is investing right here. This 
this isn't like putting you know a thousand dollars into a penny stock you know next month it's gonna hit like you know maybe 20 percent more and you're gonna sell out and you're gonna leave it and you're never gonna come back to it right now myself and i know a lot of you we're actually investing into global star we're investing for the future of global star we're investing for what it could be you know i remember like seven months ago there was rumors that you know apple and global star could be working together there was you know talks of you know like maybe elon musk will buy global star buy into it you know as far off as those things may sound you know things like that could happen we don't know you know no one knows what the future holds for a lot of things i love when we have like just because someone's a professional stock analyst like listen i'm not a professional stock analyst but i do obsess over things and i do read things a lot of things about companies where things are projected to go where they might go looking at charts reading charts the general person can teach themselves these things to learn about with companies and investing if you become obsessed with it. And it's a great thing to become obsessed with, trust me. You can make a lot of money when you become obsessed with stocks. But right now with Global Star, I, yeah, we're looking for more contracts. We're looking for something big to happen here. You know, maybe Elon could talk about the company. Maybe Apple could talk about the company again. You know, th those rumors could come up again. But as an investor, I'm looking to the future of Globostar. I'm looking for Globostar to come out with bigger, better products. I'm looking for them to sign more contracts with bigger companies, work with bigger companies. I mean, they just signed that big deal with Qualcomm. If they were signing an even bigger deal with Qualcomm and do something even larger or another company. I mean, imagine if they did something with Verizon. I mean, imagine what that would do to global star stock overnight you know that would be all hype investing at that particular time but that would be big revenue coming in so as you see this little tidbit of revenue come in come in come in you know we're looking for that stuff to really build up and then that's what brings in bigger and better quarterlies to where you can see a company being more cash flow equivalent to where it can you know bring in better numbers where investors you know bigger investors you know i think a lot of people watching this video are just like I, you know i'm not trying to put any of us down but you know i think a lot of us may have like you know five thousand to ten thousand or maybe just you know a measly like 500 bucks but still that's a lot of 500 bucks but we're the ones pushing and driving Global Star. But as this company grows, we're looking for bigger investors to come in. And that's what you need with companies like this. You know, you're looking for bigger companies to come in and work with them, to invest in them, and to see the potential of what they could be. And obviously, I'm not gonna go into the product category of what Global Star holds, what they have. You know, I've made those videos. You know, somebody left me a comment like three weeks ago or something like, you know, why should I invest in Global Star? What kind of products do they have? Where do you see their foreseeable future going with satellite service? And I'm like, friend, I don't work for Lobostar. I just bring you the evidence, what we see, what the general public wants to know, what's in front of us. You know, I don't have inside information on what Global Star actually has on their paper. I'm just looking at what's available to every common person. But I love when people comment stuff like that. I you know, I'm not mad, I'm not upset, I'm just like you know, I don't know what you want me to do here. I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel obsessing over things. The CEO of Global Star did have something positive to say. Imagine that, you know, he's not gonna say anything negative. He said this, while reporting Global Star's results, CEO David Keegan also noted that the company is pursuing a significant commercial low T sale in the alternative energy segment that potentially involves the sales of more than 100,000 units. So. Big money sign right there for the future of Global Star and what could be. So friends, leave me comments. Let me know what you think about Global Star. Do you think Global Star is going to see maybe even, you know, can, is it possible that we could see a $2 sign with Global Star by the end of the year if the stock market were to come back? You know, when I say that, you know, right now we're such in a weird time with the stock market. It's just so weird. You know, we have the stock market, general investing, and then we have like this crypto market and like they're both just like no 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 i mean we're literally watching this that you know the, the crypto market has n never been so strong as it is right now and i know people are gonna say like well you know it fell a lot it fell a lot but look where it's still at and then probably coming into this week it's gonna start trending right back up 
you know, this is just the name of the game. We see this all the time. It's the same episode being played over and over and over. But anyway, that's just my thoughts of what I'm seeing right now. I just think we're in a very interesting time right now. But friends, remember, be positive, be you. Take time to invest in your future. It is so important. Start a YouTube channel. You know, do something you want to do that's positive in your life. It's so healthy, so good. But friends, I hope you have a fantastic week. I will talk to you very soon. Best of luck out there this week. It's going to be an interesting one. Bye, friends.